Hello everybody, my name is Aaron, aka Pulling Teeth, and welcome back to PTW. We had a week off last week from this, because of how much I went on the weekend before. I mean, we had three episodes over the weekend, and one on the Tuesday before it, so it was a... Uh, it was a big week for BTW last week, but ladies and gentlemen, we are kicking things off tonight with a very uh, special contest. A former tag team of Cactus Jack and Raven going one-on-one -on -one in a landmine death match. This has come about because this team decided... Oh god, a power driver already! This has come about because this team decided that they are no longer wanting to stay as a unit and they both wanted to enter the hardcore division. Eddie Kingston needs himself a challenger, so tonight we are finding that challenger. We are going to have three landmine death matches back to back to back, and the winners will face each other in a triple threat. And the winner of that meets Eddie Kingston, and this is all happening tonight. Tonight is purely about the Hardcore Championship, because I feel it's been neglected for a while, and Raven is already breathing. Ble breathing? Well, of course he's breathing. He's already bleeding. He's been thrown out into the landmines already. Bolly with the elbow. Both these men have been a tag team for some time now. This is a light choose in the corner. And Foley's bleeding, both men bleeding already. This is why we wanted something hardcore. We haven't had a hardcore championship match in a while. We haven't seen the hardcore division take note for a while. These two obviously came up short in the tag team tournament that had just happened. They'd been a bit of a unit for a little for some time. They came together sort of by accident. While RVD and Kane were the tag team champions, both these men have had a history with both RVD and Kane, which is how that came about. Raven, Raven leaping pile driver. That's how this whole situation came into play with these two as a team. But they were never really friends, they were never really a, a true unit. And it's now imploded, they tried it again, baseball bat! They tried it again in the tag team tournament, came up short, and now here we are. Raven back with that baseball bat, poked to the eyes, discus forearm attempt, doesn't land it, Foley got out of the way. Raven now taking Foley down, stands him up, discus forearm, he landed it that time, connected flush. Now broken bit of table over Foley, Foley's biting at Raven again. Referee had no right there to call it. Foley pulling power driver on the table, with a broken bit of table. Cover, one, two, just a two count. The ropes, all he holds on. No atomic drop from Raven and a clothesline. He's got himself that sledgehammer now. Foley's felt that a fair few times. Now look at this. Nice, sort of, sort of a, a modified surfboard stretch there. Didn't quite fully bring it over. Oh, there's a mandible claw. Cactus Jack doing the mandible claw. Not one you see very often. Oh, thought he was going to throw him into the light shoes. It said he pulls him straight back into a short arm clothesline. But oh, Raven, Raven effect, the even flow. There's a cover one, two, oh, 2.9 Foley is still alive in this one. But Raven's not laying up, he's going for another pile driver. Jones has that broken bit of table again, and over Foley's head. Both these men have got incredibly high pain tolerances, but oh god, straight into that there, but uh, Raven might just put himself out of bounds. He's still gonna end in the ring. Foley's getting gassed. This is going to be a bit of a struggle for these men since you've got to think if they win this, they've still got to win a triple threat and then face Eddie Kingston all in the same night discus forearm. Kingston was kind of like, well, you know, the uh, the tag team championship got a spotlight on our pay-per-view, so we're taking over an entire episode of BTW and I'm here for it. Drags out, Raven's got himself that baseball bat again and clocks falling in the back of the head. Yep, Raven, that's where you hit him. Oh, and this time over the back. Raven's starting to take full control of this. Both these men quite intelligent competitors when they want to be. Raven probably more cunning than Foley, but Foley has most definitely got the heart and the resilience. So Raven knows that's what he's got to try and beat out of Foley. Oh, pulling pile driver. Foley's getting himself gassed as well. Something Raven's probably got better stamina than Foley here. Fork straight to the head in this environment that can cause a submission. We'll probably double arm DDT. Foley's busting out all the stops here, but Raven's back up before Foley can capitalize. He's not able to catch his breath in time. A mandible claw. That might do it. That might do it. No, not yet. Raven's still alive in this one. Even flow. 
shouts out Pearl Jam, but Raven doesn't go for the pin. Interesting, it clocks Foley over the back of the head. Stands him back up again. He's really working these weapons here off the ropes. He's just trying to tire Foley out, I think. Yeah, he's just making Foley run. He's really tiring him out. Foley is gassed. Oh, he's biting at Raven now. Biting his head, but Raven's still escaping it. Raven's is a way more stamina. Once again with the even flow, but Foley's straight back up into a double arm DDT of his own. But he's too gassed to capitalize. Oh, and Raven. Discus punch dropping Foley and a cover to the discus. One, two. No, a kick out from Foley. He's still in it. Amanda McClaw again. But Raven's would be way too close to his rope. But no, he's not. He can't grab him. But he survives. But throws Foley out. Oh, Foley didn't quite land on the landmines. He just about survived that. He might have caught some barbed wire, but there's the even flow again. Cover. One, two. All she wrote. Raven moves on to the three-way layer tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a, a pretty bloody show. So uh, if you're somewhat squeamish, uh, then I'd suggest you avoid this one. That was a hell of a win there by Raven. Taking out his now former tag team partner, the Even Flow. Puts Foley away. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match in this... It's not really so much of a tournament. Bit of a... Well, it kind of is, I suppose, in its own way. But the next match in this tonight is going to be Tajiri representing Regal's little unit. They are going to be taking on Harley Quinn. So Harley's stepping herself back into a men's division because she can. And who am I to tell her no? But that is coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. So stay right where you are for that one. And here we go, folks. Second match of the evening. We're getting Tajiri, the Japanese buzzsaw. Versus Harley Quinn. Waiting for Harley to actually show up and get in the ring here. What am I talking about? We don't have entrances. Fight. There's the bell once again. Earl Hunter's still your referee. I think he's decided he's just taking the referee things for the entire night tonight. Or at least for the first view. This one's probably going to be a lot more quick paced than the last match. There's a super kick from Tajiri already. Harley surviving it though. Arm drag takeover. Is he? So we're using less weapons. Oh, but thrown straight into the light tube. And I think Tajiri is bleeding already. Doesn't take long in this environment. And again, right into the light tubes. Harley is really taking advantage of the environment here. Knee drops Tajiri where he's stuck on the barbed wire bat. So we're back up now retreating. Tajiri might have been going for that sit-out powerbomb. But didn't manage to land it. Harley had it scoured. But what repeated for him to the face. It takes out the knee. But pokes to the eyes by Harley, and again, Tajiri starts swinging, but didn't land it, but he's got an octopus stretch in. Harley manages to roll through. Drops out of the knee once again, Tajiri working on the legs of Harley. Probably a smart move. Throws, back body drop, and Harley goes low. Taking one definite advantage she does have in this environment. And again! you got to think Regal is going to be watching on here, hoping that his uh, his boy can do well. Tajiri coming off a world well a world championship scene run, so to speak. He he made it right the way to a world title match, but never won the actual championship. No one's been able to take that title off Marshall Law. And Tajiri challenged him to a, a bit of an MMA contest and held his own, but wasn't able to get the job done. Off the ropes, Harley just sits out on it one. Just a one count, Tajiri escapes, takes out the knee again. Turns up, Harley is, uh, she was initially in the, the original PTW World's Championship Tournament. But she came up short in that environment. And since then she stepped into the women's division. But now she's back here into a hardcore division. Which is, a uh, is free for all to be honest with you. Anyone can go into the hardcore division. Anyone who so chooses. Kicks the ribs there from Tajiri. Ooh, kicked out from Harley. I think Tajiri in his striking is going to be uh, a bit more proficient here. But I think Harley's going to have the advantage when it comes to agility. And out of the ring Tajiri goes. Onto the exploding barbed wire. But Tajiri's managed to get back to his feet now. Strike combination. That almost fired him up. Repeated strikes over and over again. And a snap suplex. Tajiri is building momentum here. Somewhat surprisingly after going out onto the explosion. And a set out powerbomb. One. Two. Just a two count. 
And now back into the Oxbridge stretch. Victor Jiri's trying to get Harley to submit, which is going to be difficult. Oh, God, the power behind those palm strikes. Oh, kick. Oh, buzzsaw kick. Buzzsaw kick from Tajiri and a cover to Harley. One, two. Oh, Harley kicked out. And she goes low again. Hey, if it works, it works. But here's another buzzsaw kick. Trying to kick Harley's head into the fifth row. And Harley's still surviving. 2.9. There's a Superman punch from Harley. Stands Tajiri back up. Off the rope she goes again on a hooking clothesline. And once again sits out on it. One, two. Oh, 2.9. Tajiri survives. More palm strikes. And there's the green mist. And kicks out of the knee. Tajiri is not stopping for a second. He's not letting Harley catch a breath. Oh, Harley slows it right down. Shot to the ribs. And a roll through cover two. 2.9. Tajiri survives it again. Harley back with those palm strikes. Sends so Tajiri back up. Tajiri throwing forms. Harley's throwing them back. Back and forth they go. Tajiri, big roundhouse, but Holly's up, big into Geary. These two seem surprisingly evenly matched. And then a set up power bomb from Tajiri, one, two. Oh, Holly survives once again, 2.9. Tajiri back with those combinations. But Holly is some of her own. Headlock and punching Tajiri in the top of the head, that's one way of doing it. What's up? Got the rest of the go, but both collide heads, both competitors are down. Tajiri back to his feet first. Holly not far behind him. Nice sort of trouble in paradise there. Shouts out Kofi Kingston. Sends him off the ropes. Bad body drop onto the bar by a bat. Once again to Jerry just firing off and another miss and a wheel kick. To Jerry's on a roll here tonight. He's showing out. He says he's not out of this yet. He might be bleeding, but he's still in this. Holly has managed to survive without getting busted open so far. Oh, that went low. I think it was right to the abdomen. And there's that roll through cover, staring at the crowd in the process. And the 2.9, Tajiri once again kicks out. Holly caught the leg now. And taps Tajiri out with her knee bar. Tajiri went for a big side kick. Holly caught it, dropped Tajiri down in the knee bar and taps him out. There was a somewhat surprise finish to that one. Harley moving on to the triple threat match. She will be joining Raven in that triple threat. No, was she joining Raven? I think she was joining Raven. 100% there. I should know. We literally, we just had that match just a minute ago. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, a special attraction to see who will find that final position in that triple threat. Ladies and gentlemen, wait right where you are. I'm not going to spoil the competitors. You're going to have to wait and see. Wait right where you are for that one. It's coming up next. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The final spot for the freeway contest coming up after this match is going to be decided right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer, is taking on the returning Santa. That is right. Santa is back here in PTW and he's in the hardcore division. Don't tell me that man is not hardcore. I mean, legitimately, he does all his work in the entirety of one evening, 24 hours spent. That's probably cocaine binge, let's be honest. There's a big scoop slam from Santa. Santa taking on the innovator of violence. This match came about as a, a suggestion from a friend who uh, noted that Tommy Dreamer had made a statement saying he's coming for you, Santa, after saying that he was wrestling in a mall. So, uh, stepping on Santa's, uh, Santa's turf, so to speak. So we're actually having the match now, straight into the uh, straight into the light tube, sorry. Shots to the head now, Dreamer, trying to take full advantage. I believe this might be Dreamer's debut here in PTW. It's not Santa's. Santa appeared on the Christmas special, shockingly. But we haven't seen him since, where he fought Big Bear. But Santa is now back here in PTW, and he's going for a claw to the stomach. One of these men will join Raven and Harley Quinn in the three-way contest coming up next. Winner of that takes on Kingston in the main event for the title. Off the ropes, line attempt, but doesn't manage to land it. Oh, and there's a first press. But Dreamer kicks out quickly. Elbow to the back of the head. Dreamer go for a cover again, but get another kick out from Santa. Santa, another big scoop slam. Got himself a baseball bat now. Swing and a miss, swing and a miss. Dreamer avoiding, but Santa showing his strength, just pressing Dreamer overhead. <laughs> just a chop to the back of the neck. 
Here we go, overhead strikes to see who's going to get the better of this exchange. And Dreamer gets the better of it. Stands him up, hooked up, strike to the face, and a headbutt from Dreamer. The both men just staring each other down there for a second. Santa again overpowering Dreamer. Oh, and heavy rain from Santa, or I suppose heavy snow. Falling, falling, uh, falling headbutt, easy for me to say. Another overhead strike from Santa off the ropes, but now Dreamer's managed to recover quickly. Hits it with another headbutt, dropping Santa down. I think this is the longest we've gone in one of these matches so far. That's someone being busted open. Dreamer with the elbow. Oh, shoulder tackle attempt, didn't land it. Might be going for a scoop. So, oh no, not even a scoop. It was actually just a straight up vertical suplex. Oh, someone's bleeding now. Roll up my Dreamer one. So one count. I think it might be Santa that's bleeding. I'm not quite sure what busted him open, but I think Santa is bleeding. Swinging a miss with that bit of table spear from Santa to cover one, two. Damn near broke Dreamer in half with that one. But Dreamer survived. Up the road of Santa with a big line. And there's that broken bit of table to the ribs. The road to go Dreamer with a jumping clothesline. Back up. Oh, choke slam. No. Oh, the straight knockout blow from Santa. Too close to those ropes. Being dragged out now. Broken bit of table. Oh, hooked up from behind. Oh my god, he's going in a full Nelson. So I tried to tap Dreamer out there, but Dreamer survived it. Neck breaker from the innovator of violence. Off the ropes he goes, but now he's back up. Now he's throwing Santa off those ropes. And an atomic drop. Dropping Santa down. Dreamer's groggy. Go behind. Axe handle. Dreamer's starting to breathe heavy. Starting to catch up with him. Oh, so is Santa actually. Oh, that's a fast press from Santa. One, two. Looks like Dreamer's grabbing his butt. Two point nine. There's a strikes from Dreamer. Santa's groggy. Jumping DDT. Ran into it. Oh, there's another knockout blow. One, two. Oh, 2.9. Nearly all she wrote. Oh, got him up. Dreamer driver. Now, neckbreaker once again. You can't keep him down. Dreamer's got that baseball bat now. But he's just being marched down. Oh, rib breaker there. I thought he might be going for a world's strongest slam, but he decided against it. Still breathing very heavy. Off the ropes. Running DDT. Here's a cover from Dreamer. One, two, 2.9. Kick out once again. Not able to get it. Dreamer driver lands it. A Death Valley driver. One, two. Again, Santa stays alive. Here we go. Overhead strikes. They go back and forth. He's going to get a better of it. Nice shoulder tackle. And a line. Bounced back up into a clothesline. Doesn't seem that either one of these guys are wanting to stay down in this one. Another first press. One, two. Almost had it. Almost. Heavy snow. He keeps landing those big strikes, those big power moves. Oh, and a capo kick to the back of the head out of nowhere. But that's a woke dreamer up with another dreamer driver. He's throwing it all at Santa here, trying to get the better of it. He's getting 2.9s off the ropes. They go, both men collide heads. Dreamer fell into that pile of rubble and weapons there, so it might have got the worst of it. Oh, thrown out into the explosion. Dreamer somehow back to his feet, but he's struggling. He's struggling, Santa pressing overhead and slams him down. Got himself the baseball bat now. But he's not able to use it quick enough. There's a quick neck breaker there from Dreamer and stomp away on the ribs. Swing and a miss. Santa! Santa! Was that Wamageddon? again? It might be one again. And a three! Santa moves on. Ho ho ho! Santa moves on. He's entering the three-way with Raven and Harley Quinn. That came out wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's entered the Triple Threat Contest number one contendership match coming up next. Good God. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We're not wasting any time. We're going to dive straight into that triple threat. It is not going to... The triple threat itself is not going to actually be a death match. It's going to be a straight-up triple threat. But, of course, PTW rules. No, count, no disqualifications. Weapons are legal if they so choose to use them. So, wait very well, ladies and gentlemen. That's coming up next. It's time for the freeway number one contendership match, ladies and gentlemen. But, let's not... Let's not make this easy. This is, despite not being a deathmatch in this deathmatch environment, there are no disqualifications. There are no count outs. But ladies and gentlemen, this is elimination. Which means both people who are, well, the winner has to go through both of their opponents in order to get the victory here. God, this match is being quick paced. Harley's going low. Oh, throw into the corner. Kicks it both away, does Raven. This match is 100 miles an hour. These guys are not slowing down. Harley running. Pele kick. Well, yeah, Pele kick. PK. Straight to Raven's face. Test of strength. Santa is easily going to win that. Because everybody in this match. Close on a tent. Didn't land it. Throw into the corner. Here we go. Another test of strength. Harley's trying to hold her own. Shot to the face. Santa just drops Harley with that four arm strike. Oh, God. Beating down. Raven did kick that off there, which he didn't need to do. So it is elimination. So it's not first pinfall or submission. Both of your opponents have to be pinned or submitted to get out of this contest. That's what Raven's what's Raven thinking. He's thinking pile driver. Raven might have an advantage. He's had the longest time to recover. Santa is at the biggest disadvantage. He's had the least time to recover here. Big pile driver. Hooked up. What's Santa thinking? Overhead. No. Go behind. Kick to the back. So that was just getting hit from both sides. But he's surviving it. Go behind. Oh, Raven went low. Suplex there. And a big shoot headbutt. Raven going for another bow and arrow, but gets chopped out of it by Santa. Versus the whip. Pokes at the eyes. Raven goes through the middle of him. Another headbutt from Santa. And here we go. Strike for strike. Forearm to the face. Overhead punches. Harley gets the better of it. Oh, he's most definitely going to have a speed advantage. And she goes low. Raven going back with her with that fork. I think mean, out of uh, everybody who's still left in this, the only person who hasn't actually bled tonight is Harley. Different referee now. We've got Rick Knox. Stalling. Oh, Raven just kicked Santa out. So he dropped Harley down. That was devastating. Smart move from Raven as well. Oh, it dropped, but he walks right into a rib breaker and Santa goes for a pin. One. Just a one count and Raven still survives. There is back with that fork, stabbing Santa in the head. Harley oh, uppercuts him. I think Santa's bleeding again. Yep, Santa's cut's been reopened. And Raven's got himself a light tube. Didn't take long, did it? Oh, straight socks blow there. And Raven back with that fork, stabbing Harley. I don't know if Harley's been busted open now. But Harley rolls through with that pin. Raven's got himself that light tube, but he didn't manage to land it. There's the one again. And the cover. One, two. Raven survives. Just about. That went over the back of the head. Oh my god, the strike combination there between Harley and Santa on Raven. Four arm strikes to the chin. Oh, and Harley drops them both. So to the back. Oh, light tube over the chest. German suplex release style. Raven dropped on that stack of dimes. He calls a neck. Oh, God, that was brutal from Santa. Stalling into a power bomb. Orange crush. Good Lord. Pull back clothesline. On top, Raven. Raven effect, the even flow. But Santa stands her up. Or at least Joe tapped Harley out. He's trying to tap Harley out. No, Harley manages to escape it. Santa pressing Raven up in the air and slams him down. Going to the corner. What's Harley thinking here? She's got Santa on the top buckle. Harley. Harley. Good go to sit out Powerball off the top rope. That was not what I was expecting. Wait, is Santa going for. Santa's going for the worm. Sander's going for the worm. He's completely missed where Harley is, though. But somehow that's still connected. Big straight.
Great right there, Harley's down. Raven, he's got all of Santa now. Black body drop. Harley with the beat down to Santa, takes it down. Headlock strikes to the top of the head now, stood up. Go behind into the corner. The ropes to go, nope. Harley decides against it. Now she's going after Raven. She going for the same thing on Raven, she just went for on Santa. Oh, Raven saw it coming. Oh, he went for an elbow, but Santa moved him out of the way. Deadlift German. Until Harley's throwing Raven into the corner. Here we go, strike for strike. No elimination yet in this three-way contest. Big insecurity from Harley. But Santa's up. Shoulder tackle. Raven with a chin lock. He's trying to tap Harley out. Don't know if that's a smart strategy or what. Santa gets caught and he's getting stabbed in the head again with that thought. Raven disc gets punched to Harley. Going to the corner. Digging his time to recover in the corner. A shoot headbutt from Santa who just gets kicked in the butt and Harley's trying to rip his shoulders out of the sockets. Too close to those buckles. Oh and there's a double team. There's a double team he was doing with characters Jack while they were a team. <laughs> Harley now just mounted punches. Santa stands up and drops Harley, he takes a moment to catch his breath. Well, both his competitors were down, but Harley with those palm strikes. Oh, even flow. Maybe dragging Harley out, might be going for a pin, but now he does another even flow to Santa instead. <laughs> Cover. But Harley stops it for some reason. Oh, and gets dropped for her troubles. Santa's just taking everybody out now. Oh, he might be going for Wham again. Oh, Hoth stopped it. And she's just going low repeatedly on Raven. Who might now be about to caught in the wor be caught in the worm. I don't know what the hell Santa's doing. He's going to miss completely again. But Raven, the pro, he is sold it anyway. Caught her there from Harley. Santa's laughing, but gets caught with an uppercut. Hooked up, and now she's trying to pull those arms out of the sockets again, and she does manage it. Raven tapped. Oh, we're down to Santa and Harley. We're down to Santa and Harley. Roll through after the big strike. Two, three. Santa gets the victory. Santa is moving on to face Eddie Kingston for the Hardcore Championship in your main event this evening. That will be coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Good God. One thing I did not expect when this show started tonight is that our main event would end up being Eddie Kingston versus Santa Claus, but... Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, right where you are, the Hardcore Championship is on the line, coming up next. Main event time, everybody, and here we go, Hardcore Championship on the line. Santa has run a gauntlet tonight, and now he still has one more person to fight. He has Eddie Kingston, the Hardcore Champion. Here we go, barbed wire deathmatch now has been set up. We have uh, an explosion countdown here. 60 minutes, one hour. If they are not able to win this match in that time frame, the landmines go off. Here we go. That's the way Kingston likes it, big line. Kingston now has got himself the chair swinging at Santa. It gets cut with a clothesline and a falling headbutt to the ribs. Put up snapmare from Kingston. Pinfall or submission will end this contest and will crown you a hardcore champion. Eddie Kings are trying to defend for that title. Santa wants to gain it. The Santa tonight has managed to go through Tommy Dreamer, Raven and Harley Quinn in order to get to this opportunity right here. In only his second night realistically of ETWs, he only showed up for the Christmas special. Eddie Saito suplex dropping Santa right high on his neck. Pressed overhead, and a slam down. Oh, take down there from Kingston, took out the knee. Kingston's got a bit of an advantage here in the fact that he is fresh. Santa is not far from it. But we have no ropes here, it's just exploding barbed wire. Weapons all sprawled throughout the ring. That stands him up, looks up. And there's a capture suplex from Kingston, very nice. Got a shoot headbutt there from Santa. Sands Kings to back up again and just an overhead shot to the side of the head. Shot to the ribs, drops him down. And hooked up and here we go, back up, off they go. Chop a strike. Kingston got the better of that with a the chop there and Kingston's got himself a cloverleaf locked in. 
Gets no ropes to grab Santa. Big line. He's decided to dominate now. Santa very worn out from his multiple matches this evening. Over any back fist of the future. And a cover. One. Two. Just a two count. I'll be impressed if this thing goes the distance, goes Broadway to the one hour mark. I will be incredibly impressed. Oh, there's the explosion. That's what Sam has got to do. And Kingston is bleeding already. Trying to go for the stomach claw. It has been a very blood spilled night tonight. There's the one again. So I'm sure to end this quickly, which is smart for him, but Kingston surviving. Capture suplex again from Eddie. Goes over chair and shot to the back. And a big line again from Kingston. Stand center back up. Spinning back fist. And up again. And there's another shot to the ribs. On top, what's, this, what's Santa thinking? Stalling. No! Into the orange crush. Two. A 2.9. Eddie survived. He's taking heavy snow onto the chair. So it's up again. Capo kick. Santa's pulling out everything tonight, but Kingston's still in it. Capture suplex again from Eddie, trying to slow Santa down. No, but Eddie wants to get thrown to the exploding barbed wire. And he's got himself a light tube. So he's got a light tube. Oh, it doesn't use it, just throws Eddie back into the exploding barbed wire again. So I dropped. Eddie. Oh, he's caught. Wham again, critical! Critical, Kingston's out! Ladies and gentlemen, in somewhat dominant fashion, your winner, a new PTW hardcore champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Father Christmas himself, Chris Kringle, Santa Claus, is your PTW Hardcore Champ. That was not what I was expecting to happen here. I certainly wasn't expecting this to go that quickly. Like we said, we had a we had an hour timer for if the explosion went off. Turns out we didn't need it. Santa just damn well killed Kingston in less than ten minutes. Ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of this episode. Thank you everybody so much for joining me in this one. It has been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. All the fun stuff. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.